In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to create a turntable in Blender. I'm Luciano and welcome to the adventures of Lollipop Man. What's up everyone? This is a new place that I'm in Vancouver. You can see I'm sitting next to a horrible lamp, but it's going to be part of our channel from now on. It's going to give it a touch of taste. And uh, yeah, remember to, to, to like, subscribe and all of that. Oh, and before we get into it, I'm going to show you how to create a camera rotating around your character so you can present your animations, your models, whatever you, it, it is you need to present. And there's two very easy ways in Blender. Let's jump right into it. So I have this animation of the, that you've probably seen before in some other videos. Obviously it's not done, but it will serve us to show. So the first thing is to figure out where you want to put your camera, right? So I'm going to select my camera. I'm going to go to object mode and then move it around and just more or less have an idea of where I want it placed, right? So the character is there and the camera should be more or less there so we can see the full animation, right? And so we want it rotating around this character and uh, that would be basically more or less around like the center of the scene, right? That's our axis. So one easy way would be to just create any object, in this case that it won't render, like a plain axis one, and press Alt G to bring it back to the center of the scene. And then just as easily select your camera, select that object and press Ctrl P and parent it. That way, now when I rotate that object, it will rotate the camera, super easy. And so now all I have to do is just animate that object and we're going to make this like something like 120 frames or something like so. So I'm going to make sure I have a timeline here. So I'm going to make it 120 frames. Copy that, paste it over there. Right. It doesn't look really, so we should probably figure out how many frames this lasts so it's a bit better so so my animation is 16 frames so an easy way to make this is just go and paste that number and then press asterisk to multiply by however many times you want to have the character cycling so let's say i want it five times that's 80. So let's say 16 by eight times as 128. That's good. It's more or less what I wanted. So now I can just like ex ex extend it to that amount of frames. So you'll see that now it should look fairly well. I might have one extra frame if we go to the first one. To frame zero it's repeating that same frame so we don't want to show that first frame so there we go so if i play around here then it just plays seamlessly so that's one thing second thing is now that we have this object the e empty i'm going to go to frame zero again and press i because i have the key set for whole character that only works in post mode i want to either take it out or just turn go to my transforms and key with I over the rotation values and it will key them all. So now what I want to do is just make sure that I'm rotating the correct axis. So I'll go back, go to my last frame, 128, and then make 360. Now I get a key because I'm with auto key, right? And just press V and vector or T and linear. So we'll do linear. And now you can see that our character is rotating, right? It's not actually the character rotating, it's the camera rotating around the character. So it's super easy. You just basically created a pivot to, avoid, to where you want the camera to be rotating from, right? That's, that's one easy way. So let's check out the second one. I'm going to delete all this. And I have just like my camera. P to unparented, and I'm going to delete this guy here. 
So same kind of situation. I want this and I'm going to go to preferences and then turn around. And so there's this little add-on that comes with Blender. It's been there for 7,000 years and it's called turnaround camera. And so if you go to the last panel, it says no valid object selected because I need to select an object to which I'm going to turn this camera around. So the camera has to be created, has to be placed already where you want it. And so now I'm just going to select an object. I'm going to actually, the object that I'm going to select is the armature itself, which has the center point at the bottom. And with the default values, you should all already get something pretty similar to what we have before. So as you can see, the, the length is already set here, the same length that we had decided and that's it. I'm just going to press turn around and you can see the camera starts turning around. The only problem with this setup is that it didn't change the easing. And so we just want to select that object. And as you can see, it does exactly what we did. It created an empty and then parented the camera to the empty and that's it. And then animated the rotation in Z. So I'll just press vector and now we get that same result in basically one click. I hope this helps you present those animations for your game reel or present those models. And if you like this video, like, if you love it, subscribe and see me next time. Mm -hmm.